हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज गुरजीत सिंह आई एम अ फ्री लांस डिजिटल स्कल्प्टर एंड दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इज अबाउट हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट यूर पॉलीपेंट डेटा फ्रॉम जीब्रश इन टू माया विदाउट डूइंग यू वीज सो दिस इज दिस इज द वर्क फ्लो आई यूज फॉर क्विक रेंडर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन साइड जीब्रश we need to decimate our model while decimating only thing we need to take care that we need to keep on the use and keep polypen tab and here my model is already decimated now we can export this go to z plugin xpx export import here also by default it will be .bin you need to change it to ascii format and just export it so after we will export it we going to import this model inside maya so first thing we need to do we going to go to each part of the model just click on the model and make sure that export vertex color is check and export reference position this other option has to be uncheck we need to repeat it for all the parts now we will go to hypershade we will create ai standard surface shader and we going to apply this shader for right now i am applying the shader to complete model and now we'll go to utility and find ai user data color so this we need to plug in into our base color so out color should be plug in to base color and now in out color attribute section we need to copy this and we need to paste over here in our ai user data color node and we are almost done we just need to create our simple basic ai light just to make sure that we can render it out and yeah this is working fine now we can see the colors just increasing area light value yes so one thing at this time we need to make sure that because zbrush and maya both has different gamma values so i usually correct from here only go to gamma and just 0.75 0.8 is more closer to zbrush you can change this into shader also you can just uh, plug in a gamma correct node and uh, you can put your value over there so that's it guys i think this was helpful uh, for if you are looking to do quick renderings for your concept sculpts so this is, i find this really helpful and let me know guys if you want to know about my light lighting setup or shader so i can definitely make another video about that hope this was helpful thanks for watching